Hi, welcome to my EcoBuzz. I'm Jessica Gregory. Last week we looked at probably the earliest spring wildflower to appear this time of year. And this week I want to look at something else, not a flower this time though, but what's sometimes referred to as a flying flower. And that's right, it's a butterfly. So we're going to look at um, one of the kinds of butterflies that you can see even as early as March um, or even the very end of February, depending on the temperature. So come along with me. Uh, we're going to head outdoors and take a look at where we might find this butterfly. The butterfly I'm referring to is this one right here. This is the morning cloak butterfly. And um, I'm showing you a picture because since this butterfly is an animal, I can't guarantee that we're going to see it today on our hike. But um, hopefully you can um, go out later and um, try to find it, maybe even run into it for yourself. Um, but as you can see, the markings on this butterfly are pretty distinct. Um, even if you just see it flying by really fast, um, you can pretty easily distinguish the, the lighter colored margins on the wings. Um, even if you can't see the blue dots, um, you can usually tell what it is just from the margins. Um, the underside of the wings, if you happen to see it on the ground, they look just like um, the leaves that you see on the ground. So very well camouflaged. The reason that you can see these morning cloak butterflies so early in the spring is because they actually overwinter as an adult. And that's something that's super rare for any insect, particularly butterflies, as most of them will overwinter as either a pupa or an egg. Um, and the reason that the morning cloak can do that is because it, along with some other types of animals, has a, an antifreeze solution in its blood that um, prevents it from completely freezing solid. So it can actually survive even in sub-freezing temperatures, which is is really cool um, and you can see that I'm in kind of a wooded area right now um, this is a forest that is partly deciduous partly evergreen and there's a lot of logs and um, just down trees and, and trees that are standing but have cavities in them you want to look for a forest like that um, or even you know where, where the trees just have pieces of bark that are um, kind of breaking off from the tree a little bit anywhere where a butterfly can just kind of um, hide in there and seek shelter, that's where these morning cloaks are going to, to try to overwinter. So um, hopefully you can go out on a walk this week and maybe even find one of these if you're lucky and the day is warm and sunny. It's not uncommon to see these morning cloaks flying around through the woods. So um, have fun on this little treasure hunt and I will see you next time. Happy naturing!